when I tell you I've been waiting forever, I've been waiting forever. Welcome back to my channel. I have a fun video where I am swatching the Juvia's Place Reds and Berries Lipstick Collection. So I actually picked up quite a few from this collection that released at the beginning of December. So let's see, I have four here and I have three here. So I have seven items from this collection. Super excited. Juvia's Place, they released their new lipsticks back in the summer. And when I did those, I only picked up about three and then I picked up a gloss. But I just knew that I wanted them to come out with some red slash berry colors. I love red and berry lipsticks. So these actually released, I want to say December 5th. My shipping was super fast on Juvia's Place. So basically, same old story that we've been experiencing this year. God bless USPS because they are struggling and it's not their fault, okay? <laughs> so it's just so much going on. So they were actually sent DHL Express and they handled over to USPS. There were some delays with, USP, with DHL and there were delays with USPS. There was a bad snowstorm a couple weeks ago on the East Coast. And then they just kind of sat wherever in Chicago go at the hubs forever but let's go ahead and get into the collection and some details because I have to swatch these little babies for you okay so like I just said there were so many pieces that came out with this collection so I just opted for the seven products that I was feeling a lot and so they have with the matte lipsticks they have three color kingdoms as usual they have the cherry red wine and the berries they retail for $14 also with this collection were released glosses so you had the glass gloss and those were two colors and they retail for $14 and then you have four of the lip reflex which is their more pigmented formula and that also retails for the $14 then you also had liquid lipsticks now Juvia's Place is not new to liquid lipsticks they've had liquid lipsticks prior to them releasing their matte collection with the new lipsticks and there were two liquid lipsticks in this particular uh, reds and berries collection and they retail for ten dollars as well as two new lip liners to complement these shades and that retails for ten dollars as well uh, the lip liners I didn't grab initially because I don't know with Juvia's Place sometimes I feel like it's always a piece of the collection missing when you go to purchase stuff on launch day but I double back and I got the lip liners because I really do enjoy the Juvia's Place lip liners and I got them when they're having their 50% off sale so I guess it kind of worked out in my favor so let me bring you in so we can get swatching with these babies I'm gonna do lip swatches that's why I don't have any lipstick on and I'm gonna show you the packaging a little bit more of course all right y'all so let's get going but let me show you the packaging so let me tell you it's the packaging for me look at how beautiful this is. I mean, Juvia's Place just really outdid their self. I mean, the, I mean, it's the imagery. It's the African women on the front for me, like killing it every time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to start with one of my lip glosses and I waited to open this because you know I can't open Jack. So we are gonna start with one of the glass glosses. This is going to be the shade Sweet Beats. So let's get into it. I'm excited. I've been waiting on this for so long. Okay, so just so you know, the lip gloss is actually in plastic. So I believe that's probably especially for in-store use because you know, I purchase these directly from the website, so. All right, so let's go. First up, we have the shade Sweet Beats. This is one of their glass gloss. And I do have nothing on my lips but some regular old lip balm. We have a nice doe foot applicator. All right, Sweet Beats. I think this shade looks really pretty. It's definitely like lighter. You have that glass, that really shiny, you know, look to your lips. But I think the color payoff just kind of depends on, you know, how pigmented your lips are. Mine are kind of dark. And then I also have some moles in my lips. But I do like how this feels and I do like how it looks. And I think with a lip liner, it will be bomb. We have the shade Maroon. This one right here is a lip reflect gloss. So it's supposed to have more pigment. 
let's see. We also have this beautiful doe foot applicator. And this one looks to be quite pigmented. Ooh! Oh my gosh! Yes, yes, yes! I love it. It's it is so perfect. Look how opaque it is. Only had to dip it once. It's a beautiful shade. You know, if I had a lip liner on, that would be even better because I can touch up right here. It doesn't feel sticky. They have perfected this because I remember trying Fumi's gloss from her first collaboration, and that gloss was really opaque, but it would move in certain spots and it would kind of look patchy in certain areas and it was a little too thick and goopy. But this, I mean, the consistency is good. Mm. Yeah, the liquid lipstick that I grabbed, this is the shade Scarlet. And they have had li liquid lipsticks in the past. I have the shade Lulu and I absolutely love it. This is the applicator. This is Scarlet. It feels so comfortable. It's so beautiful. All right, and this is Scarlet once it's dried down. You can see it's a very comfortable, rich matte. Oh, well, I think that the applicator is just a tiny bit thick and you can't really get around, you know, the corners very easily. But with a lip liner, that will really help. But overall, I'm so satisfied with how this feels on my lips. Mmm, this color. I am here for it. Guys, we're gonna move into these beautiful lipsticks right here. So I have one from the Cherry Collection, the Red Cherry Collection. I have one from the Red Wine Collection and I have two from the Berries. So we're gonna start with the first shade, which is Perfect Red. Mm. Mm. Now here is the shade, Perfect Red. The application, I need a lip liner, help the cause, but it glides on so nicely considering my lips are dry because I just removed three other lip products. Next up we have the shade Rude Girl. Oh, yes. All right, this is Rude Girl. Mm. I really like this, but I'm also really into deep reds. I did have to clean it up around here because, ooh. All right, let's jump into our last two. As you can see, my lips are pretty stained. So next up, we have the shade Frenemy. Ooh, and this is from the look, ooh. Mm. See, I am here for this. And what's nice about this formula is grabbing right in here, where sometimes lipsticks don't like to grab, especially. All right, last but not least, we got one more. This is the shade Oh Damn. So, also from the berries, probably a good thing because my lips are like, ma'am, 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 what's going on? So, this is Oh Damn. Beautiful. Here is Oh Damn. All right, I'm back and I went ahead and put on one of the standout shades to me in the formula, which is the Lip Reflect shade. I was like, I can't remember. I gotta keep looking at my notes. So this is the shade Maroon. And I just went ahead and I put on my lip liner. This is the one Scorpio, so this didn't come with their collection, but this was released the very first time. And it's actually a perfect shade 
Oh, I love these lip liners. And I do did get a little bit on my teeth, but I just removed it. But mm, I love this, how this looks. It's such a great high shine gloss. So I might, oh, no, the sale's over. But eventually I might go back and get the other couple of glosses because red lip glosses are so great. But sometimes the formula is a little eh if it's not done right. But I love how this looks. I feel like it's even good enough where you know you don't have to put your lip liner right here that's what i usually do when i wear glosses like this or really dark shades i draw my lips in with the whole lip liner so if it wears away you still have something there and it's just not your whole lip peeking through but this was one of my favorite shades so i want to come back and mention that i also like the glass gloss which was the sweet beats but it another standout shade for me was scarlet i think scarlet was so 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 pretty this is the liquid lipstick um, another shade that was very standout for me was the shade frenemy it was just so freaking deep mm, and it was just it was a vibe like oh and then also another shade for me I really like the rude girl and perfect uh, red perfect red was actually really really beautiful so overall I felt like Juvia's place like knocked it out the park yes now the lipsticks as you notice they were a little hard to apply only because of how they're shaped so is it right here but that's like first application because I feel like it was kind of like that and with the nude shades just kind of getting around these little areas but after the first use they warm up perfectly they don't tug they don't pull it's a matte formula that's very comfortable it gets on the lips easily so I think it's just that very first time I know with the nude lipsticks like I have no problem applying those now so I think it's just like that first time newness like once you get past that mark it's okay but I feel like they they really killed this collection all you it's a red in there for any and everybody like all types of shade complexions all types of like desires if you like bright reds if you like really vampy deep dark reds I think there's something in there for everybody and I really really like it so um, overall I'm happy with what I picked up I'm so happy to have these I don't know like you know I've just been waiting I've been waiting to try these out and I'm like dang I mean but it's not like I could wear these outside the house because I wear masks to work where am I going but that's not the point I just wanted my stuff so <laughs> I really really like this and even now like okay I said this gloss okay this gloss it doesn't even make my teeth look like yellow because you know sometimes these glosses can make your teeth look or these deep dark shades I should say can make your teeth look a little bit more yellow but overall beautiful beautiful collection I can't wait to get my other two lip liners I think I want to check out some more of these look glosses no the lip perfect what lip reflect that's what it's called it's called the lip reflect so I can't wait to try out more of this formula and I can't wait to see what other shades Juvia's Place do some oranges I would be here for that do some oranges some corally pinks that would be bomb maybe we'll get that in the springtime so overall like Jimmy's place you're killing it honey you're killing it and you have had a great year as far as I'm concerned so let me know that you pick up anything from this collection I know quite a few of you guys hit me up when this released let me know down in the comments are you more interested now than you were before and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family and with that being said you already know what time it is it's time for the chair dance. Ay, 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 chair dance. Mm, mm, chair dance. Ay, mm, mm, chair dance. Mm, mm. Yes. I'll see y'all later. Bye.